In this video, you'll learn about the different plantation shutter designs available. This will help you choose the design that's best suited for your windows. There are five main shutter designs. Full height, half height, top opening, track mounted and shapes. The most popular plantation shutter design is full height. This is a single height shutter that fits between the sill and the top of the window. A full height design will have louver blades running from top to bottom of the shutter. You can choose this design with or without a horizontal dividing rail. Windows or doorways that are over 1800mm high require a middle rail as standard. This adds strength to the shutter panel. The rail will usually be positioned to match a corresponding rail on the window. Then, when you look through the louver blades, you do not see the shadow of the window rail through the louvers. With a rail, you can also choose to open the louver blades independently either side of the middle rail. This gives you more flexibility and privacy. The full height design is good for wide windows, like a typical double glaze window. In these cases, not having a middle rail will give your window a bit more height. When the window is too wide for bifolding shutters, extra vertical posts, called T-posts, can be built into the shutter frame so they match the vertical mullions on your window. This means the width of each shutter matches the width of each window section. They also help support the weight of the shutters and allow each shutter to open independently, providing easier access to the windows. Next up is the half height design, or cafe style. This style of shutter only covers half of the window and is normally popular if you just want some extra privacy or you're using plantation shutters with curtains. Half height shutters don't look as good on wide windows as they can make your windows feel even wider. The same with double glaze windows as they have handles that stick out and the shutters have to be fitted further away from the window, which can look a bit odd. Try and keep the shutters fitted to the window itself and match the shutter colour to the window frame, because you're going to be looking at both the window and the shutters together, so they need to blend in and look fitted. Half-height shutters are popular on Victorian sash windows, because they can be fitted directly to the window. They are tall and narrow and have a natural split where the two sashes meet. This gives you a nice place to stop the shutters. The top opening design, also called tier on tier, allows the top and bottom set of shutters to open independently from each other. They are split like a stable door, providing more flexibility for privacy and light. A typical top opening shutter would have eight shutters across the window. The top set would have two shutters bifolding to the left and two shutters bifolding to the right, and the bottom set would have the same. This tier on tier design only suits windows that are tall and narrow, like a stable door. If you try and have top opening shutters on a wide window, it would look a bit squashed and you'd end up with lots of rails running across the centre of the window and not many louver blades. If you have a patio door or wide window and you prefer the shutters to be folded back to one side, then a track mounted option could be the answer. Rather than being hinged at the sides, the shutters have small wheels mounted at the top that run along a top track. This means the weight is supported and you can have 4, 6, 8 or even 12 shutters hanging from the track. Track shutters usually come with a bottom guide. This makes it easier to slide the shutters open or close them. With the track option, it's still important to match the number of shutters to the number of sections in the window or door. All the shutters need to be the same size to allow them to operate properly. And finally, shape shutters. Plantation shutters can be made to fit almost any shape, angle or curve. With a shaped window, it's still important to match the layout of the shutter to the design, and shaped sections can be separated from the main shutters using horizontal or vertical T-posts. They can still be hinged open, but it does depend on the design of the window to how far they will open. They can also be hinged downwards, or just mounted on magnets, or maybe they need to be hinged inwards towards the highest point of the window to allow them to be opened. This would normally be done on a T-post. Fitting the shutters towards the outside of the recess will still allow the shutters to open and wrap around the wall, as long as your ceiling is not in the way. Fitting inside the recess may limit how far you can open the shutters before they hit the top of the recess. Remember, you will normally keep the shutters closed and only adjust the louver blades to let the light in and out, so how they open is not really an issue. You can choose how the louver blades are positioned within the shutters. For example, in a curved window, you can keep the louvers horizontal or follow the curve around the shape in a fan. The frame design is important with shaped windows. Choosing a Z-frame on a curved window, for example, can create a really nice neat finish because it will hide any imperfections of the curved window itself. Here you can see a few examples of an angled window, 
curved window with a fan top and Z-frame design, and finally a triangular design. Remember, the key when choosing a plantation shutter design is to let the window do the designing for you. What I mean by that is, most windows lend themselves to one of these five designs naturally. If you've seen photos of some fancy top opening designs in a magazine, but you have a wide double glaze window, then really you need to choose a full height design to match, not the top opening design just because it looks nice in the photo. Generally, if your window has a horizontal rail, then it's best to have a rail on the shutters so they also match. If you would like some help with your design, just upload some photos on my website and I can offer you some advice. Please give me a thumbs up or share my video if you found it helpful and subscribe to see more videos like this one.